Here, that's what yeah. you want to do. Okay, go. Good afternoon, everyone. We are at Nahoki Park, gorgeous location here. And I just wanted to show everyone the first six flutes in my 432 hertz collection. I decided about two and a half months ago that I was going to convert all my instruments to 432. So the first one I got <clears throat> was this beautiful C sharp bamboo, but it has a Native American writ. Um, Native American bird on it. So um, it's a hybrid instrument. So it has a sound of sort of a, a North Indian classical bansuri, but it has the, uh, the reed, that's the word I was looking for, of a Native American instrument. And I'm playing it as a five hole pentatonic minor scale flute. This one here, I started getting into the John Stillwell flutes. This is a, a low E, and it has zebra wood with wenge. This is wenge. It's literally that color, chocolate. And I've been calling this tiger wood, though, because it, it's orange and black like a tiger. And it's an E. Moving up the chakras. To the F chakra, we have a purple heart. And this one's really gorgeous. It's an extremely hard wood. You can hear how it pings when I tap it. And if you move in closer, you'll see shades of pink and purple all mixed together. And this is curly maple, offsetting it nicely. This is F, heart chakra. John Stillwell flute. This is a third John Stillwell flute. You'll notice they look very similar. And then we have curly maple. Look at this pattern when you do long runs of curly maple. And this is mahogany. And this is purple heart and walnut for the accents. And this is actually canary wood and maple for the bird. F sharp. sounding. Notice how they're going up as we go up the scale. This one is really cool. This is a uh, Brent Haynes flute. He's from Utah. He's a famous flute maker. And this is called the Taos Old Style Flute. And it literally looks like an old stick. If you looked at it close, you'd see gouge marks from all the tools that he just left there and sort of this uh, Pue Pueblo image right here. And this one uh, but the mouthpiece is hybridized. It's a modern mouthpiece, so it's very comfortable to play on. And he's also coated the inside with a, a little bit of wet out protection. It plays really nicely. It's a G. Moving right up. This is an A, a high A. And this is a uh, Odell Borg flute from High Spirits in Arizona. It's got moonstone here. This pattern you see right there is the pattern that water or sand takes on when you introduce a frequency of 432 hertz into it. He actually has a line of the 432 A's. He has three different keys that you can get in that. And so if you put it at 432 exactly, it forms this perfect geometric pattern that dovetails with all of the uh, all of our understanding of sacred geometry. If you tune up to 440 A, everything starts to go awry. Everything breaks and becomes discordant. And uh, it's the science of cymatics, C-Y-M-A. So that's my flute collection for now. I've got two more that'll be here in a, a week or so. I have a C side blown, and then I have a 
D, a low D with a drone, which is a really big, heavy instrument. It's double barrel shotgun, side by side. Um, and so that'll leave me with six, seven, eight, so four more flutes to get, and it'll be all the leftover sharps. Thank you for listening.